Hey guys, welcome to the last unboxing video. I mean, the last of this series because I have already made all the videos for all of them and uh, this is the only thing remaining. This is the cabinet. This is a Cheaptronics cabinet. Uh, many people have suggested, including JZ Two Cents, Linus, and all, they suggest uh, Thermal Take or Cooler Master CPUs. Uh, sorry, uh, cabinets, uh, but uh, I went ahead and bought this one because uh, uh, this is a only uh, tower in that price range of 2.5 to uh, 3k where it comes with uh, 3 fans. You guys can't see it right now, uh, sorry, uh, not 3, it has pre-installed 4 fans. So all the other ones either had one like uh, Thermal Take or Cooler Master or at max 2 if you are going somewhere in between the price range of 3.5k in India. So I went ahead with this because I thought uh, you know cooling is more important than branding. Uh, I hope I made the right decision. So let's get it open right now. And see. Uh, I bought this from Amazon. Uh, the link to the product will be given in the description down below. You guys can have a look because this thing was delivered to me in very good condition. No complaints regarding the delivery because it was it doesn't have a mark on this if they delivered it so well I think if this part becomes visible you guys will know what I was talking about you guys see here these are the four uh, three fans I was talking about three in the front one at the back and they have a red RGB on it also so it's way more cool than what uh, Cooler Master had to offer in the same price range just being gentle with this Okay, we have this now. So let's take it out. But uh, this has been almost a standard for every manufacturing company out there. They give they give it to you like this. So the moment you take it out, this part is actually the front part. Um, This is a pretty big tower, I would say. This is not a uh, mini ATX. I don't think so. Let me get you guys a closer look. So, uh, this is how it looks from front. Uh, you guys might be able to see, like here is one fan, here is the second one, and on top there's the third one. I'll get you guys a closer look there also. Uh, these are the I.O. ports. It has a fan control. It has the reset. 
USB port 3 and 2 ports mic and uh, the other one here is the grill uh, for radiators and all and to just to give you guys a heads up this is actually uh, magnetic so you can pull it off put it back in it stays the other side has nothing it's a uh, smooth but this side is semi-transparent so you guys can already see the light coming in and going out here we have another one the last of the four which is um, LED fans RGB LED lit let me take out these screws let me take out this one okay now I think I can take it off this thing comes off and as you guys can see this is transparent and here we go this is the inside we have all the connectors from the top we have the RGB lit fans one in here and here one on top two in the middle so down below and here we have something else as well let's see what we have these are a lot of cables I don't know what so many cables are there for already I have to figure it out like if you can already see the, this is one cable and from underneath there are two more cables coming out for now let's just focus on this we'll get to know in our build video what those cables are for but I think I can't get this out ah okay okay so this seems to be the manual okay a lot of screws and let me take these out so I can show you guys okay so here we have the installation manual with all the details of what the accessories are screws and all we have a few wire cables for wire management to tie them up instead of the zip locks and we have a hell lot of screws in here as well uh, which is very good I think these will be better to put the motherboard in there let's see how our build goes but like I have said in my previous videos that I won't do a direct build but first I'll do a test build on top of the mother box board uh, which will serve as my test bench <laughs> uh, because I don't want to you know this is a very big key so I don't want to put everything in here and then fire it up find out something is not running and then I have to take everything out from here and then again test one by one that will be very bad I think you guys should follow the same and uh, uh, first test it all out put it on your mother box motherboard boards box blah, blah, blah. what the fuck am I saying motherboards box and uh, there you guys put everything in run it once see if you guys getting an output on your monitor and then carry on with the rest of the builds like putting things in here bye bye see you guys in my test build video and don't forget to subscribe if you're liking these and do share. Bye bye.